Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Morris of the Helen Keller Foundation for Research and Education. I'd like to discuss our recent article in Clinical Ophthalmology on treatment of optic disc pit maculopathy. Vitrectomy is the most common treatment for optic disc pit maculopathy with a 50 to 90 percent success rate of achieving foveal reattachment. It's usually combined with other techniques such as cortical vitreous detachment overlying the macula, ILM peeling, and stuffing the pit with ILM tissue. But these techniques pull on the already fragile macula, and the pit macular communication remains open, closing only as a trailing phenomena seven months to a year later, while success remains uncertain. In contrast, we used gas to safely tamponade the macula and close the pit macular communication in a 24-year-old female presenting with a giant maculoschistous cavity. Central macular thickness measured 906 microns and macular volume was twice normal at 20.8 millimeters cubed. Snell and corrected visual acuity was 2070. Two months after vitrectomy performed elsewhere with posterior vitreous detachment and short-term tamponade, central macular thickness and visual acuity were not significantly improved. Combined lens extraction IOL with vitrectomy and C3F8 15% gas tamponade then allowed immediate return to college studies with only nighttime prone positioning. OCT imaging six weeks postoperatively showed complete closure of the pit macular communication with central macular thickness reduced by 405 microns. Sequestered from its optic disc pit source, foveal schesis fluid then resolved by 12 weeks postoperatively. Three years postoperatively, the macula remained dry with central macular thickness at 322 microns and a concave foveal contour. Macular volume had returned to a normal 10.2 millimeters cubed with visual acuity improved to 2025. We suggest initial treatment with vitrectomy and gas tamponade until the pit macular connection is closed on OCT imaging. Sequestered fluid then completely resolves. Risky or peripapillary laser, PVD creation overlying the macula, island peeling and pit plugging can all be withheld unless a recurrence is found on subsequent examinations. Please read our article in Clinical Ophthalmology for more details and thank you very much.